വെൽക്കം ടു ടിക്കൽ നാഷണൽ പാർക്ക് എ യുനെസ്കോ വേൾഡ് ഹെറിറ്റേജ് സൈറ്റ് എൻവലപ്പ് ബൈ ദ ഡെൻസ് ജംഗിൾസ് ഓഫ് ഗോട്ടമല This is a story of a civilization who were here 2000 years before who built these gigantic architectures. This was the strongest civilization in the history of American continent, the Mayans of Guatemala. But right now this is a ghost town left over buildings from 2000 years before and open for public as Tikal National Park. Visiting this place was always on my dream. When I was a kid a movie called Apocalypto was my favorite and I used to wonder at that time is there any real humans or places like this ever existed? and few years after i am here to witness this place welcome to the mayan world tikal national park this place is at least 1000 years old or more than that the car has something like a spiritual on it it used to have steam baths at like 4000 years before this place is crazy can you hear the sound over there i don't know which animal is it it is so scary Before visiting Tikal I spent more than a week in Guatemala exploring Antigua the Aketenango hike and Lake Atitlan check out my channel later for those videos I had to take three shuttle buses from Lake Atitlan to get Tikal and the journey was so tiring Finally after 14 hours of journey we made it to our hotel this is Jungle Lodge this is one of the properties inside the Tikal National Park which you are currently staying inside Tikal National Park it's like literally like a 10 minutes walk to the national park things Check-in process is done now and they said they have a pool over here and the room is not ready till 3 p.m. So let's jump into the pool. And it's time for pool baby. Just look at that. There's a pool in middle of a jungle. Let's make that jump into pool. Ready? Now I feel better. This is a pool exactly in middle of the forest. I can see all the birds are chirping over here. It's so quiet. I have never been to a pool like this. I mean, you know, like in middle of a jungle. Just near to the pool area, we have like a lounge area over here and it is just near to the real jungle. You know, like real real jungle. Just look at that how wild and nice it is. And I believe these are part of Amazon forest, right? I'm not sure because you know all these forests are interconnected with Brazil and all those countries. So I believe these are like a kind of part of Amazon forest as well. Just look at how thick it is. I found my pool friend from here. It's David and Mariela. Hey guys. Hi. So how how was your experience on Jungle Lodge and the whole the Mayan city and everything? It was really cool. It so, Tikal has something like a spiritual on it. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's, it's more it, into you, Mayan gold. Yeah, into yes, uh, you as a Guatemala person? Yeah. I think that you feel that connection with the with with, with, with the, the Tikal. Okay. Yeah, with with Tikal with the environment. due to is your roots right it's yeah yeah it is it is yeah mm -hmm. but uh, everything else has been really fine yeah. yeah all right guys thank you thank you so much i'm done with food let's do something else i think i'm going to have breakfast i'm hungry we got french toast banana fritters and whipped cream it's been a while i had french toast on this trip so i badly wanted to try french toast 
I got my room ready. I just want to show you places. I'm so excited. Just look at that. We are in middle of the jungle. Seriously. So just after that, this is like pure rainforest of Guatemala. And this is my room. Very basic room. If you go inside, you'll be having two double beds. That's it. A small chair and some shelf and a water bottle uh, there is no toilet within the room it's a shared toilet uh, this is a pretty basic stay on this hotel this place is crazy can you hear the sound over there i don't know which animal is it it is so scary sound is getting bigger and bigger now can you hear that i think it's a group of monkeys trying to fight or something the sound is so strange and right there there is an animal i don't know what that is it looks like mongoose or something and on top there is monkeys as well but seriously this is so scary the sound is like you know feels like tiger or jaguar or something like that and this forest is really famous for jaguar I had a really quick nap and had lunch and now we are going for the sunset tour to watch the Tikal National Park with this group right there. walking through this dense forest with our guide. He's a really good guide. He's talking a lot of history about Mayans. And you should wear a pan when you're coming to forests like this. Look at me wearing shorts and this forest is full of mosquitoes. So the main good thing with visiting a rainforest is it's currently raining so hard but as it's full of trees over here none of the drops are coming down you know like all like raindrops have been carried by the tree leaves so basically it's raining so hard but it's very few drops coming down I'm just seeing the first sight of a Mayan city just right over there that was the ceremonial entrance into the internal party so there's a tunnel right there. It's fully dark. We are going inside that. Oh. Well, well, well. Now you don't feel there's rain outside. <laughs> you made it alive. This place right here, this used to be a palace for Mayan uh, kings and this is like a courtyard area for them and all these buildings are kind of nearly about to go down at the moment but still you know these are like 1200 years old just imagine people living here 1200 years before and we visiting all these things now Oh, it's pretty dark at the moment. It's kind of like 5.30 and we are going inside the dense forest at the moment. Basically, you can't see anything over here. So I'm gonna go back to hotel and I'm gonna come tomorrow and show you this place more beautifully. Made it back to the room after dinner. So, when I'm opening the door, it's like pristine real forest outside and it's raining and you know the sound when it rains on a forest, it feels so calm. Yeah, having a great night. So, see you guys tomorrow with Tickle. Good morning guys, it's time to explore the real Tikal National Park. Let's go and explore the Mayan civilization who lived here 4000 years before. I think today there is a Mayan traditional uh, festival or something happening, I'm not sure. Because I saw a lot of people with Mayan dresses going inside with fruits and a lot of things. So my guide yesterday told me they do come here and celebrate their uh, festival days. I hope it's a day so we can see something traditional. It's 
so this ruin scene right over there was a steam bath over there so it is saying over here it was a common thing where mines used to do steam baths and they try to use in a different technology with we don't know how they were using but this was a steam bath and it was uh, restored by University of Pennsylvania they used to have steam baths at like 4000 years before seriously <laughs> There is a traditional festival happening today. All these fine people over here are getting ready for that. That's really magical, right? When you're visiting somewhere and you could see the traditional festival in a place like that. My God. Finally, after 20 minutes of walking, we made to the Mayan town. This was the central park for them before 4,000 years. Just look at that. So this is temple number one and this is temple number two. So this used to be their central park where they used to celebrate all their festivals and I believe it was kind of their market as well. I'm not sure because there are not much valid information about these places as it's that old which we can't even think about that time. to the top from there so this was like the place where kings used to sit and watch the shows and stuff so from here you will be getting a 360 degree view of the grand plaza so i had a evening sunset tour yesterday and my guide took us over there at the exactly on the center and he showed us a trick so if we clap on exactly on center the echo gonna go there over there and make a sound of a bird which is really famous in Guatemala and on the other side of the temple it makes a different sound you know we were wondering like how are they building all these things like these many years before interesting right in few hours of time, all these places gonna fill up by Mayan people and they're gonna start doing their traditional festival here. Let's see how it's gonna be. And we can climb up one of the temple over here, they made steps. So let's go upstairs and see how is the view from the top. We made it to the top. As I told, they are here. Look at them. They are having their traditional songs and they are singing. They got drums. It looks so magical. You know, we need to be really lucky to see these things over here. Now I'm going to temple 4, that is the biggest temple on this national park and the way to get there is really thick forest and there is one thing with rainforest, the roots won't go down on rainforest, it's gonna be all on the ground itself, they can't go below like 7 meters or something, I'm exactly not sure but that's why 
old roots have been showing on the soil itself. So it clearly mentions over here, Temple 4 is the largest temple on this national park and it is 64.6 meter high and considered as one of the most iconic pre-Columbian structures on Tikal. So we made it top of Temple 4. From here you can see the whole Mayan town over here. Then you can see the Temple 5, then you can see the Grand Plaza over there. This is a pretty good view of the whole civilization of it. Good thing with Temple 4 is when you climb all the way up, you have seats over here which you can sit and watch this awesome view of all temples over there. Climbing up was hard, but going down is easy as always made to another area of the park this is called lost world so basically all places over here they couldn't make it in a good structure so i think they named it as lost world and right over there that's like a pyramid where we can climb all the way up but i just did a big climb over here i don't want to climb that again on all these places this is my favorite place on tikal national park this is called seven temples This is Temple 5. This is only temple over here where we can take like really good pictures as you see on movie Apocalypto. Right one. Just look how big it is. Even though Temple 4 is bigger one, uh, that's kind of demolished at the moment. So we won't feel that. But this one is exactly from ground level to all the way up. Gigantic one. Visiting Tikal was a life-changing experience for me. By seeing these old architectures made by humans without any missionaries before 2000 years made me realize how strong humans are actually even if we don't have all these technologies what we have right now. And watching a traditional Mayan ceremony made an extra mark to this trip. With a full heart of Mayan history, I am leaving from here hoping to get back here once more in my life.